Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at an air temperature coming in at 88 degrees and we have a dew point value coming in at 73. East wind generally today, south, southeast right now. Going to be switching around to the west here in the next hour or two and that's going to bring us the showers and thunderstorms that will proceed through the afternoon. Uh, 88 degrees in Bradenton, Parish, Lakewood Ranch, 87 degrees in Mayaka, Wachula, 89 in Arcadia, 88 in Northport. Venice coming in at 90 and 87 degrees at Longbow Key. So across the entire region, I think we're looking at pretty tranquil conditions. Don't have much going on here locally right now, but as I mentioned, that's going to change. We have a general easterly wind flow aloft, and you can see how what it's doing to our showers here, kind of pushing them back out into open waters all morning long. But we'll start to see them build locally as we induce that west coast sea breeze, and we'll see those showers kind of populate the area. The rain chat's probably not quite as great as it was yesterday, 24 hours ago, but still plenty good enough to see showers around this afternoon. High pressure, the dominant weather feature for us, a trough of low pressure located to the north, and a lot going on in the tropics that we'll talk about in a moment. So if you're one of those people that's traveling to see the eclipse and you'll be anywhere in the deep south, eesh, you know, it looks a little iffy. We have a front that's sinking southward and that could become stationary right over areas from South Carolina right up through the Midwest and could induce some cloud cover on, uh, on Monday uh, as well as some showers all along that frontal boundary. We'll see how it plays out, hopefully not. Here locally, high pressure will move north and produce an easterly wind flow. That easterly wind flow will aid in kind of returning us to a more typical summertime pattern of showers and thunderstorms, building in inland areas and then drifting back to the coast as we progress through the afternoon. But for today, light and variable winds will help induce a stronger sea breeze that will push a lot of that showery activity toward the other coast, just as we have seen day after day. We're going to go over the tropics real quick here. Hot and humid with 100 plus feels like temperatures and afternoon thunderstorms. A couple of areas of disturbed weather we're watching, these two in particular, but Harvey not so much. Harvey is going to carry on on a westerly track that really won't be too much of a bother for us. 40 mile an hour winds, but if you have relatives in the windward or leeward islands, uh, they're getting a little bit of a blow today, but it's going to stay probably tropical storm force as it moves toward the west. Now as it gets towards Central America. There are some questions about whether it could gain a little bit of strength. It won't have a lot of time though as it moves into land. The one that I'm more interested in is this one way back to the west, still a tropical wave, but forecast models continue to show it moving on a track that'll take it up toward the southern tip of Florida or at least the Bahamas by the time we get into next week. Now it's got a lot of problems. It's got some dry air in front of it. It's got some strong upper level shear that it's going to encounter. Those are the kind of things that like to kill storms. But it does have a chance if it sustains itself and moves past that into the Bahama Island chain of perhaps intensifying a little bit. So it's one to keep an eye on still a long way down the road. But through the weekend, be sure you keep updated on the forecast for that system. We're going to give you the eclipse forecast in the next half hour. But for right now, we're looking at a 30% chance of showers today, increasing to 50% on Sunday. And then next work week, return to more typical summertime patterns. Scott?